First tonight, a Bristol priest is being remembered after losing his battle with COVID-19. I'm Shannon Heggie. I'm Mike Montecalvo. We first brought you this story on 12 News Now at 5 over on WPRI 12. Father Marinaldo Batista contracted the virus after taking a trip to see his parents who were sick in Brazil. New tonight, 12 News reporter Sheena Loschuto spoke to Father Batista's friends and members of his congregation. She joins us live from Bristol with what he meant to the community. Sheena. Well, we spoke with one person who says if you haven't thought twice about your actions yet, this story might change that for you. COVID-19 not only killed Father Batista, it killed his parents too. A devastating loss for this community. This is a very, very sad day. At St. Elizabeth's Church in Bristol, he was more than a priest. Father Marinaldo Batista connected the community there. Portuguese people really, really loved him because he spoke fluent Portuguese. They could, commu they could communicate with him well and they embraced him. And uh, they had very big plans for post-COVID trying to get back to normal. Barbara met Batista when she was a parishioner at St. Elizabeth's. She found out Thursday morning the beloved priest died in Brazil after battling COVID-19. The virus not only claiming his life, but both his parents too. In January, he left Rhode Island to go visit them. This all happened in the month of March. The father got sick, the father died, Marinaldo came down with symptoms, he was hospitalized. Almost immediately he went into ICU and was intubated and quite frankly, he declined dramatically. Batista was in his early 50s and spent about two years at St. Elizabeth's. Father Joe Escobar of Our Lady of the Rosary Church in Providence shares only positive memories of him, admiring how he always embraced every situation. He says during this significant week for Catholics, support can start from within. The best way to honor him is to pray for him and for his parents who both died just within the last three weeks. And it also reminds us of how fragile life is. It also reminds us of the need we have for priests in our diocese and really around the world, but most especially in our diocese to serve the needs of the Portuguese community. And a lot of those pictures you just saw were sent to us by people that go to St. Elizabeth's here in Bristol. Many say they are just so saddened and shocked by this loss and they will cherish his memory forever. I'm Sheena Lushuto, 12 News.